Tell me. I want to ask something what you said. Ahead, bro. Brother said about when it get in your stomach and, yeah. it, and it make you feel bad and, and you sick to your stomach, it's not a physical sickness, it's a spiritual sickness because you're looking at all the things that you've done and now you see the truth of them. Just like they said, David, you loathe in your sins when you look back on your past life. But this is a good bittersweet. Yeah. 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 And then the, the affliction and the persecutions come, a lot of brothers' knees start knocking, they stop dealing with the most high. They run out of gas, per se. You can't be like that, man. You know what I'm saying? That's why, that why you got to endure to the end. Let's get with Isaiah 53. Isaiah 53, verse 1. Who hath believed our report? And to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? For he shall grow up before him as a tender plant and as a root out of the dry ground. As a root out of dry ground, that's miraculous in itself. Because what grows without water, water and nutrients? Right. That's right, Another. You feel me? Another. And if you get in Ephesians chapter five, it'll tell you that the word is the water. So the yeah. Messiah will come into the time when no truth and no word will be being pumped in the earth. All traditions of men right. will be taught. The Pharisees were teaching the traditions of men. Right. All right, come on, bro. He has no form nor comeliness. No form, no comeliness. So outwardly, he wasn't the most beautiful brother. Right. You would have missed him if you were just looking for the flesh. Yep. You would have missed him. Yep. You know what I'm saying? So no form, no comeliness. Wasn't the biggest strapping brother either. Right. right. Plain brother. Right. All right, come on, brother. Looked at upon as being desirable. Right. Right. In the flesh. Right. Right. From male or female. Right. Right. Come on, brother. And when we shall see him. There is no beauty that we should desire him. See, no beauty that we should desire him. That's like when, when you come around, people get to snap and they neck around. Oh, right, here he comes again. Right, here he comes. See, that's the bitter part of the word right there, man. Right. Because a lot of people, a lot of people don't like the fact that you down with these scriptures. They don't like it. A lot of people don't like that. Yeah. All right, come on, bro. Verse three. He is despised and rejected of men. See that? Despised and rejected of men. Yep. Come on, brother. A man of sorrows and acquainted with grief. A man of sorrows and acquainted with grief. He knew grief by the first name. That's right. Yeah. See that? So it ain't all giggles, in other words, right? It ain't everything right. ain't sweet ain't when you get, when you get into this, man. That says the Messiah was a man acquainted with grief. Right. Yep. A man of sorrows. Yeah. Now why is that? And this is the son of the most high. Right. The power of all powers. How is that possible? Right. Alright, come on, bro. And we hid as it were our faces from him. We hid our faces from him. And you get that even today if you were following him. Yep. People get to hide in their face from him. Yep. All right, come on, bro. He was despised, and we had seen him not. That's it for that's it, that, that's it for that. You see, that's, so that's, the, that's the bitter part of these scriptures. Grab Matthew 13. Did y'all want to Go ahead, bro. Okay, verse 4. Surely he hath borne our grief uh. and carried our sorrow. Yet we did esteem him stricken, smitten of God, and afflicted. Stricken, smitten of God, and what? Afflicted. And that's the son of the Most High right there, man. Everybody that's Everybody love him, though. Everybody love him. <laughs> well, the whole chapter's on <laughs> Right, right, boy. <laughs> right. Go ahead, bro. Go ahead, bro. Five. Verse 5, all right. But he was wounded for our transgression. Yep. He was bruised for our iniquity. That's right. Yep. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. The chastisement yeah. of our peace was upon him. Right. The chastisement right. of our peace, right. our peace yep. was upon him. Yep. Come on, I understand that. Go ahead. <laughs> and with his stripes, we are here. With, with his stripes, who stripes? Right. Ain't no man out here. Go ahead, brother. Verse six. Hey, so what proves that that's Christ? Cause you got the non-messianic vibration going on out here, man. Right. You feel right. me? The non-messianic vibration. Right. Uh, uh, brother, deep breath. First Peter two, twenty-one to twenty-five. They go into that's a prophecy of the Messiah. That's a prophecy of the Messiah, Hamashiach. By his stripes we are healed. Say five, five. First Peter chapter now. two, 21 to 25. That's a precept real quick. Show what it is. 
because you got non-messianics to try to tell you that that's talking about Israel, the people. That's right. You got it? Yeah. First Peter first, 2, first 21 Peter 2. 25. First Peter 2, verse 21. For even here unto where were ye called? For what glory is it if when he be brought for your fault? Buffeting for your faults. If you buff it for your faults, it's your own faults. Buffeting. Read that again. For if what glory is it if when he be buffeted <laughs> for your faults, we shall take it patiently. That's right. But if when ye do well and suffer for it, ye take it patiently. Uh huh. This is acceptable with God. This is acceptable with God. That's right. So if you buffet the buffet of your own fault. Yeah. That's acceptable with the Most High. You know you did something wrong, accept it, repent from what you did, and turn back. That's you right. don't assimilate and continue in it. That's, right. That's right. it for that? No, no you got to get Go ahead. For even hereunto were ye called, because Christ also suffered for us, oh. leaving us an example that ye should follow his steps. That's right. That's right. Who did no sin? No what? No sin. What is sin? Transgression, Transgression of the law. law. Did no sin. That's right. Go ahead. Neither was God found in his mouth. What is God? <laughs> People don't understand what the sin lies. lies. Yeah. God. Go ahead. Who, when he was reviled, reviled not again. He did <laughs> not what? Reviled not again. So that means when he was persecuted, when he was talked about, when they did all that stuff, he didn't, right. didn't, he didn't do that. He didn't come back and revenge himself. Go ahead. He ain't tit for tat. He wasn't when, petty. <laughs> yeah, yeah. When he suffered, he threatened not, but committed himself to him that judges righteously, who his own self bear our sins in his own body on the tree. In his own body on the tree. Now read that one more time. His own self bear our sins in his own body on the tree. In his own body on the tree. So the perception of church being a place that you have to go, it skews the whole spirit of it. Read right. right of Colossians chapter 1, verse 2. Keep this going. Yeah, we're going to jump back to that. Just look at the strike that I hear. Right. Let's get it. I, I thought you keep reading. Oh, okay. Being dead to sins, that we, being dead to sins, should live unto righteousness, mm. by whose stripes he were healed. And that connected Isaiah 53, we was reading. But yeah. Isaiah 53, oh, yeah. that connects yeah. that, showing you that's talking about the Messiah. Yeah. All right, come on, bro. For ye were as sheep going astray, but are now returned unto the shepherd and bishop of your soul. So that shows that Isaiah 53 was talking about Jesus the Christ in the New Testament. That's right. That shows that. Right. So you got people saying the Messiah wasn't in the Old Testament. That's a lie. That's a lie. Isaiah 53 oh. prophesied about the Messiah and that Peter verified that in, in, in 1 Peter. That's right. Showing you that the Messiah, whom you call Jesus the Christ, is the prophesied Messiah. That would lock him in as right. the Messiah. <laughs> he fulfills prophecy. That's, That's right. right. That's how we can tell you Muhammad was a false prophet. False. We can tell you Elijah Muhammad was false. Right. Drew Ali. False. White Jesus. Right. False. And anybody. Anybody that doesn't fit the bill of the scriptures is a false prophet. That's right. Or a false Messiah. That's right. Jesus of Nazareth fits all the prophecies in the Old Testament concerning the Messiah. That's right. Any last one up. And he's currently at the right hand of the Father That's on right. his way back here to conquer. That's Woo. right. He ain't coming back to hand out turkeys. Nope. Come back on Thanksgiving. <laughs> he ain't coming back for trick-or-treating and Halloweening. That's not at all. Right. He coming nope. back to conquer the earth and gather his people. That's he right. coming back for his birthday. And, and, and put us back <laughs> on top. Because we are the children of Israel that the Bible That's speaks right. of. That's right. Not who you think are Jews over in the Middle East. No, we, the people not. that got off the slave ships, that's right. That's that was right. hunted sun up to sun down 
are the lost sheep of the house of Israel. That's who you are as a people. Prophesy. Jesus Christ is the king of Israel. All right. And that's just the truth. That's what's up. Accept it or reject it. That's right. Yeah. All right. Show the body of the church. Colossians chapter 1, verse 24 and 25. Who now rejoice in my suffering for you and fill up that which is behind of the afflictions of Christ in my flesh for his body's sake, which is the church. Which is the church. See. Wherefore I am made a minister mm. according to the dispensation of God, which is given to me for you to fulfill the word of God. Woo. To fulfill what? <laughs> the word of God. That's what you're supposed right. to be, a servant of the Most High. We're here to fulfill the word of God. We That's come out right. the word of the Heavenly Father. Right. But see, a lot of people don't like that. They don't sit well with them. Too bad. That's not the Joel Osteen doctrine. Uh -huh. it, it, but, but it is what it is, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. He said, if you feel it by going and just sitting and listening and never questioning, yeah. putting your faith and hope and trust in a man that's standing before you telling you what you ought to do when right. you're not reading it and studying and seeing it for yourself. Right. See, because that's that's what it is when you when you stand up and become an ambassador for the Christ of the scriptures. You see that? You actually become a threat to the established order. You really yeah. do. So then people start trying to get at you. Yep. You know, that's why he tell you to endure to the end, make your forehead harder than nerves, <laughs> right? And go hard. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody grab Acts 14 for me, bro. Acts 14, 19 to 22. Again, it wasn't no, it, it was a serious thing to call yourself a follower of Christ in the ancient world. You get your head cut off. Today, you think of uh, uh, T.D. Snakes and uh, a uh, credit flow dollar, and you think these are men of the Lord. Yep. No. Nope. You see that? But no, nah, they're Oops. teaching you a doctrine that can't be found in the Bible. The preachers of L.A. Halloween? Oh, yeah, the preachers of L.A. Oh, <laughs> That's another unclean phenomenon going there, on, man. There. The preachers of L.A. <laughs> and you looking at the reality show like, ooh, that's a good one. Right. Because they ain't doing nothing but pimping the word of the most high, man. Right. <laughs> Those aren't level, men of the man. Lord, are you serious? The highest level. <laughs> that show you what was happening to real men that were hazarding their life for this, man. That's right. See, beliefs, your belief was a serious thing. And, and on this side of the illusion, you got freedom of religion. In yep. Christ's kingdom, you won't have that. that. That's right. Oh. That's right.